Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Lilo from Disney's Lilo and Stitch. So let's get started. With Lilo, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to start by right here. I'm going to start to draw a very wide curve. So I can come about right here and come straight down. And I'm going to go across. So this is about how wide I want her face to be. And I'm going to start to draw my big wide bottom of a U, that big curve to draw her face. So I'm just going to continue this all the way and connect it. Like that. So I got this nice curve in. And so then from there, I'm going to come about right here and I'm going to go up. So I'm going to go up about right here. So we're going to start to draw her bangs. So a bit easier, I'm going to come up about right here and just bring down a curve and connect it. So this is the shape you're kind of aiming for and then we're going to start to draw her bangs. So I'm going to come with one right here first, a little curve. And then I'm going to go up, come back down for another one, and go back up. And so then I'm going to draw another one. This is going to be a bigger one and I'm going to end a little bit lower. So come down, and then go back up, and one more. So one nice curve coming towards here. So if you're using a pencil, just connect it back down to here. But because I'm using a Sharpie and I need to, I know I have this flower right here that I want to draw, I'm going to stop about right there before I continue. So then from there, I'm going to go straight up about the center. I'm going to go straight up, say about right here, give myself a point, and I'm going to start to draw the top of her head. So I'm not, I'm not going to be drawing one big curve. We're going to break it up just to make it a little bit more interesting. So maybe a small curve right there in the center. I kind of bring it slanted down a little bit and another slant just so that it's not one big round head. So just another curve maybe and bring it in. So something like that. And then from there, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw a flower. So I'm going to come out a little bit to where this ended. I'm going to come up right about right here and give myself a point. And I'm going to draw the first petal on this flower. I'm going to come up about right there. And then I'm going to draw a bottom one. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to come out here. So I'm going to go erase that in the computer when I'm done. And I'm going to draw another one up that comes out right here. So it's a five petal flower and then I'm going to draw, everything's going to stem from this center. So another one and another one comes in. And so then from there, come to the center and draw a curve. So it's going to come out, come down, and just going to follow your petals. So the curves just helps give us the illusion of this flower being open. So this curve will go this way. So there, now you can finish my curve right here, right there. And let's, um, now let's go in and bring uh, Lilo to life. So right here, I'm going to start to draw an eye. So I'm going to come in and draw a circle towards the edge right here. And draw a nice circle all the way around. And I'm going to go across and draw the same thing. So I'm going to give myself a point. towards the edge, like that. So notice I didn't make them huge eyes and it's because Lilo has this broad face with this broad nose. So, so making the eyes a little bit smaller than usual. And so I'm going to come in here and draw the draw so cute eyes. So two small circles at an angle and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So thank you for all the requests for Lilo. This is like a beloved character from Disney. And I've already drawn Stitch, so please check that out. And so I know a lot of you are waiting for me to finish 
um, <laughs> and draw Lilo. So hopefully you guys love how she turned out. So from there, I'm going to draw the same thing on this side, two small circles at an angle and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. at the bottom. So then from there I'm going to give her just a very simple lash. I'm going to come right here and just curve one up. Just a nice little simple curve. Do the same thing on this side. Just curve one lash up like that. And then I'm going to come up right here. Come up, say about right there. And I'm going to draw her brow. So it's just very simple. Kind of slants down a tiny bit. And you can come in here and thicken it up. So same thing on this side. It's about right there. Just curve it down like that. And then right here in the center, we're going to start to draw her nose. So I know draws like your girls usually don't have noses, but um, Lilo definitely needs one. <laughs> so we're going to come here and just, I'm going to draw very lightly, just draw a curve. So on both sides. Just nice little curve and then come to the top right here we're just going to lightly once again draw another curve so and then i'm going to come down to the bottom and right here where her nostrils would be and draw another curve so i'm just going to make this right here a little bit thicker Always looks so much better with the pencil. It's much lighter. The Sharpie looks really dark. <laughs> so, but hopefully it still works. And so there, got her nose in, and then let's give her that cute big smile that she always has. So we come about right here and just draw a big curve that comes up a little bit, and then cap it off. So there, got a little Lilo in, and then let's come over here and draw the ear. So I'm come up here, draw a big old ear like that. Come in with a detail curve and another curve inside. So let's see, we're going to see the other ear a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit. So I'm just going to draw a little curve right there. And then let's finish off the hair right here. And now to draw her, um, her little outfit. So I'm going to come right here in the center and draw a curve for her collar, and then right here for her shoulders. So I'm just gonna draw two curves, like that. And then we're gonna imagine about her armpits would be about right here. So I'm gonna come down, and her dress is so nice and simple. Hooray! <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep bringing down my slant. her dress to be let's see keep going down a little bit more so maybe about right there so then I'm gonna connect it with a nice simple easy curve all the way across there so then let's come in here and finish off her sleeves so we're just gonna bring this down and slant it so same thing on this side so make sure I'm at the same and connect it. Okay, so then now her arms. I'm gonna make this really easy, really simple. So I'm just gonna bring down, kind of following my line right there and come out a little bit and then in for her hands. So let's just come over, make sure her hands are equal. Give yourself a point. So same thing, you're coming down and then come out a little bit and then bring it in for her hands. So then from there, we can finish off her hair. So about right here, we can imagine being overlapped by the hair. Come down. So let's see here. Simplify this and so come down all the way. And let's bring it all the way down. So then when we come down here, let's just give it some zigzags. Just make it a little bit more interesting. So let's come to the same thing over here. Let's make sure it's the same length. <laughs> And let's see, one, two, and three. 
lots of there. And then for her little shoes, this part I love. So we're gonna make sure it's, we're gonna have her feet kind of the same, but one on both sides in the center. So let's see here. I'm just gonna give myself a little mark so I know that this is the center so I don't go over it. So I'm gonna come about right here and draw a curve right below her dress. Just give yourself a tiny little room right there. And then I'm gonna come in here and draw another curve. So this is the strap for her sandal. And then let's do the same thing on this side. So I know that's my center. So curve and another curve. And then come in here, once you've got the strap in, connect it with a curve. And then down here, this is the bottom of the sandal now. Connect it. So same thing, connect it and then give it a little bottom right here for the sandal and connect it. And then come up here and just draw a little curve to connect it. Just a little indication that that's her legs. I think this one's a little bit shorter, right? <laughs> okay. So then you can come in here and just draw some indication of her toes. Just a little curve, one and three. So same thing on this side. We're gonna go the other way, two, three. So there, got her little feet in. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and then um, let's draw the pattern for her dress, the very famous pattern, the white and red. So we're gonna draw a white leaf. So let's say we're gonna come about right here and we're gonna start one. So um, let's draw a curve. Imagine it's a circle. It's got a nice big curve. And it's gonna be slanted this way. So if you need to turn your paper, so it makes it easier for you to draw. And I'm gonna continue this and connect it with a curve like that and then come in here in their center and we're going to draw a nice center vein and go back so now we're going to draw one that goes this way so we're going to come here about right here draw a curve imagine it going around about right here so you won't see much and then go up In, and then connect it with a curve. And so then once again, we're gonna draw that center. So come about right here. And just draw a center. And then let's just add one right here since there's some space. Just a little indication of one. Something like that. <laughs> it doesn't have to be exact. So there my adorable uh, Lilo from Disney's Lilo and Stitch. I hope I made it easy for you guys to follow and draw this really cute little girl. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.